outside and, and see people outdoors. And it's going to be interesting to see as we come out of this because, like you said, in, in moments of crisis, you can see how important nature is uh, to, to human beings. And hopefully as we come out of this, human beings will recognize you know, how important nature is yes. to us, right? So it's like yeah, at, critical moments. Yes, and we're hopeful. Uh, we're very hopeful that that is the case. I know that the Nature Conservancy is for sure uh, in New York acknowledging just how important these places are for people and to make sure that we are providing access to as many types of people as possible, that, that our usership reflects the diversity of the communities around New York. So what would be examples of the way the Nature Conservancy like is proactively vetting that to understand it and could potentially address evolving the spaces to make them more you know, inclusive and accommodating. So one of the things that we are doing is figuring out what the communities around our preserves look like. What is the demographics? Who who are we serving basically? Because we don't, don't we don't know right now. We have assumptions, but we want to make sure that the assumptions that we're making are truthful to on the ground. And so we are doing some demographic studies of, our, of the communities around our preserves. We are doing some deep listening of communities uh, through interviews in, in which we are asking for stories. Our goal is to gather as many stories that we can so we can see patterns in those stories to actually address the lived experiences of the many different people that are trying to access our preserves. Yeah. So we're right now primarily focusing on black, indigenous and people of color and we're asking them for their stories. We're saying, hey, we're trying to not ask pointed questions yeah. because we don't want to bias one way or another. Yeah. We want to actually know yeah. how are you getting to our preserves? What is hard about getting to our preserves? Yeah. What is getting in the way? Or if you don't have any challenges, great tell us about that too because so maybe learn from them and or maybe that's the solution yeah. maybe you have encountered a way to make uh, nature more accessible and the nature conservancy is doing it in a way that is uh, evidence-based like i said we're trying to not make assumptions we're not we're trying to not just say this is what we're going to do we're trying to on the run as we go uh, gather evidence and learn um, the best way forward yeah so that each preserve stays as healthy and natural as possible, but 